motorbike collection day has come and a slight snag of um, my partner being away seeing her parents is that uh, I can't get to the higher place in any other way than this. I'm spoilt for choice when it comes to two wheeled vehicles so um, I'm going to put in some leg work and uh, find my way to the higher place. Got a nice ratchet strap in my pocket to stick this in the back of the van and then we'll be one step closer. Mm, Lord, won't you buy me a Mercedes-Benz? Although not this one, because the gear stick and uh, gear shift in this thing is horrible. All the same, got ourselves a van. Step one complete. Now I've got to go home and do a day's work, um, and then we can go pick up some motorbikes. I feel fancy. Well, the work day is done, and picking up the bike begins. The weather is fucking delightful outside. And we've got 2 hours and 12 minutes in Satan's own creation of a van. My advice if you're trying to buy a van is don't buy a Mercedes Vita. This gearbox is like cornflakes. I'll let you know what's going on when we get a bit closer. Well, that's a motorbike in the back of a van. And now it's time to do 2 hours back in the other direction. Get a motorbike back out of a van. But uh, before I do that, I'm led to believe it's entirely customary. Just to make sure nothing goes wrong. That's not going anywhere. Oh, good. I'll see you at the other end. Well, the bike's made it home. It's still upright. It hasn't fallen over. But what it does have is a slightly sticky front wheel. Which means if I try and bring it down this ramp, it's going to drag the ramp out and fall on the floor. So I'm going to set about trying to get the front brake caliper off. Get it out of this van quietly. Because it's late at night and I'm sure my neighbours would rather not hear me wrenching on motorbikes in the middle of the road. I'll let you know uh, how it goes. i do for now. Right, it's the next morning. We're back. Uh, the van has just been returned to the higher place. And the bike is safely in the garage. Ignore the mess, I'm, uh, I'm remodelling in order to make space to work on this thing. Before I go and do a normal day's work, I thought I'd take a quick look and see what we're going to need to uh, get this thing back on the road ASAP so we can start earning some points. First of all, that brake caliper I knocked off in the video you'll see just a moment ago. Going to need a rebuild kit for that at least. The stanchions have got some rust on them, but I don't know whether we might get enough of that off to get an MOT. Looks like the seals might be leaking a little bit. We'll see. Need some new dust caps anyway. Wheels are okay around the rims. The spokes are pretty rotten though. I wonder if they'll clean up. They seem sound, um, but that's MOT testers' opinion, I think. Whether the corrosion is significant enough to uh, make them unroadworthy. And then, most importantly, we're going to need a battery because this one's absolutely cooked, as was described in the listing, and even the battery tender can't um, do anything for it. I think we're going to need some new rear shocks, uh, cosmetically more than anything. They still bounce, but they're going to need all the help they can get with my uh, weighty rear end on them. The clutch is not seized, but the cable needs a rotten good oil because it's um, sticking and jumping. So we'll get that sorted out. And then I suppose we ought to find out whether the engine turns. Or well, I suppose I kind of accidentally know that it does turn. Because I tried to push it in gear. But we need to make sure it turns, has spark. And probably throw this crusty car in the ultrasonic. I think that'll get us going for now. Once I've got it started and moving, um, then we can think about what other things it might need to get itself through an MOT. Right. I'm off to do a normal day's work and order some parts and um, I'll be back soon. But uh, yeah, that's picking up the bike. Done and dusted.